as I find myself looking more and more like a hobo the more weeks that I spend in house, as you can see here today, I decided to think about self-reflection and being kind to myself. And that's what we're going to talk about right after this. It's Wade with Fight Back Fitness, and today we are going to talk about self-care and self-reflection. It's very, very important, especially on a wellness journey, to take a moment and reflect on where you're at um, and to be able to uh, think about the progress that you've made because we all have a tendency to be incredibly hard on ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. I've talked about previously the the scale being a really bad thing and that part, that's part of the reason why I think it's bad because in a lot of cases we find ourselves looking at the scale and getting very defeated by the type of feeling we get when we see a lack of progress that's been made. You know, a better reflection of the progress that you're making from your uh, health and wellness journey is giving yourself the opportunity to look at the shape of your body. Take look, take a uh, look at pictures that were there previously um, and then take a look at pictures of you recently and a lot of times you see a very large shift in uh, what we would call non-scale victories right um, also with all of us being stuck at home although a lot of states are starting to open up again uh, I find myself you know having to take more moments of time where I can do a little bit of self-reflection you know stepping away from the ills of the world for a little bit and really taking the time to do some meditation or some stretching, uh, some planking as uh, noted a few weeks ago. I hit three minutes this week. Um, very excited about that. Can't wait to do another update in two weeks to see how far I've come. But I do these kind of things to just kind of center myself and I think that's critically important as we uh, head, you know, continue down this path of, you know, working from home or being unemployed, um, and health and wellness becomes much more of a struggle. Interestingly enough, I went to Target yesterday, and the workout aisle was basically empty. Uh, so that's exciting, right? There's a lot of people that are finding things to do at home um, and keep, to make progress on their health and wellness journey now that they might have some more time available to them. So if you feel the, the pressure of the day kind of mounting on you and your shoulders are starting to raise and your jaw is starting to clench, what I suggest is stepping away for a few minutes. Do a couple of stretches. Uh, do some meditation, uh, just do some, you know, side to sides or something like just get yourself out of that moment and out of that routine uh, so that you can break free from the negative behavior pattern that's starting to form inside your mind. Uh, because one thing I have found over the years is that that negative behavior pattern ultimately starts bleeding into other areas that we don't want it to bleed into. Uh, and in this case, uh, you know, we could use that self-defeating pattern in order to look at things like the scale or maybe make some bad choices when it comes to our food. Um, I know that I'm guilty of that from time to time. I have a bad day. I look for comfort foods and most of the comfort foods hmm, probably aren't what I would need to be eating if I want to make significant progress on my health and wellness journey. Uh, so these things derail and we don't want to derail ultimately is what it boils down to. So a few minutes of meditation, a few minutes of self-reflection, a few minutes away. Um, you know, in my case, I could step outside if it wasn't, you know, 35 degrees outside today uh, and could, uh, you know, take, take in my yard because I have a lot of trees and a lot of nature around me. And just having that feeling for a few moments can help recenter me, get me back to a state of positivity, um, and allow me to get through the rest of my day effectively. So that's it for today. 
Uh, please stay safe uh, and hopefully very soon we'll be able to start uh, integrating back into uh, the, the into society overall, right? Um, I am amazed at the amount of people in my state that are wearing masks. I hope that you do the same when you're out there so that we don't have a reoccurrence, right? That's uh, something that I've really noticed is the, pe the people that aren't wearing masks aren't thinking about the potential reoccurrence of something. You know, they might not be contagious, but you know, they're, they could be impacting others along the way. So just do the courtesy and uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you and we will see you next week.